Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Way back up in the woods among the evergreens. This little log cabin made of earth and wood. We lived a country boy named Johnny B. Good. Who never ever learned to read or write so well. But he could play a guitar just like a ring in the bell. Go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Guitar in a gunny sack Or shit beneath the tree by the railroad track Oh, the engine is with him sitting in the shade Strumming with the rhythm that the drivers made The people passing by, they will stop and say Oh my, but a little metal boy can play Go, 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 Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go all right, yo, welcome back to the uh, BAMcast, or not even welcome back, welcome to the first BAMcast. So this is the uh, podcast I've been talking about for a while now, lying about up to this point, because I didn't know if it was going to happen or not, but tonight it's going to be me, Esteban, uh, streamer, fucking uh, video game reviewer, uh, movie reviewer, and uh, fucking elite pro gamer. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be me and my buddy... Uh, let me lower this down. My buddy, uh, YN, YNC Drummer. Uh, I was going to have a couple other people on here, but uh, we're going to reschedule them, and then we'll see what happens. Anyways, this is a test run. I'm sure, you know, this is going to be a train wreck. This is my first time doing this. Uh, just so you guys know, I'm going to be, uh, I'm, it's going it's to be live, but I'm not going to do like I do with my streams, where I react and, you know, answer every single one of your questions uh we'll save that for the stream but if you guys hear us talking about something uh feel free to you know type in there and if we get stuck on something or we're asking about something i'll read it and maybe i'll respond to you then but for the most part we're just going to try to have a cohesive conversation about what's going on uh right now i'm just going to kind of be doing the whole tour thing uh it's going to be a little bit unorganized today it's my first one uh we're just mainly testing and then hopefully it'll get better from here. We'll see. All right, guys, let me invite my buddy, uh, YNC Drummer. I think I spelt his fucking name wrong. <laughs> hey, Drummer, can you hear me, man? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, we're good to go, man. Uh, let me lower down this music. All right, everybody say welcome to YNC Drummer. Let me fix his name. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all see me on the chat before. A lot of y'all get pissed off at me. <laughs> Drummer. Yeah, so uh, you may uh, recognize Drummer from a couple of my streams. He's been in there talking shit. Uh, I wasn't sure about when I first started streaming about even wanting Drummer to see it because I was like, oh, this guy's going to think my shit's lame. Uh, and he still does, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, he ended up being really cool. And I, 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 I remember the first time I came into one of my streams, I was like, oh, shit, he, this motherfucker is going to talk shit to me. And I'm going to have to ban his ass. And he ended up being like one of the best, coolest guys and like a real good supporter. Like we're friends in real life, but I didn't know if he'd be, in, be into it. Turns out he's into games probably just as much as I am and movies and shit like that. Uh, so yeah, what's up, drummer? To be honest with you, you're the first person I've ever like, I've heard people streaming games. I've heard other people watching them. You're mm -hmm. the first person I've ever watched. Oh yeah? I, like, I, don't know if I, I don't know if I can get into that, but... I guess it's maybe because I know you mm -hmm. that I could understand the whole situation. But now I'll, I'll sit there and watch other people stream with it now. So I understand it and I respect it. Nice. I know so, it's not easy. So basically I popped your streaming cherry. <laughs> no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm not giving you that. That's exactly I what it sounded like to me. I said you were one of the first. Ah, uh, okay. One of the first now. Okay, one of the first. But uh, let me give you guys the tour. I, I don't know if Drummer can see this, but the guys who are watching, there's a couple of you. Welcome, guys. I do see you there in the chat. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to focus as much. I'm going to try to focus more on the conversation on the uh, podcast. But feel free to, uh, you know, type in there. Anyway, so check it out, guys. This is the uh, podcast. Uh, whenever I have guests on here, I have all these, like, presets where, like, today it's, it's me and Drummer. And like when the screen changes to like where it's only just me or something, it'll be this screen with my name. I can change the names wherever I want. If I got three guests on here, this will pop up. If I have four guests on here, you got the four screens. Uh, I designed uh, the layout all myself, but I got all these uh, 
motion graphics from this badass company and they did me an awesome favor and customized some of the stuff that uh i wanted like custom done for this podcast and they're like hell yeah man just you know buy it and we'll just we'll uh send it to you for free like as a bonus i was like awesome so they're really got they're really cool guys go check out move graphics uh what is it move graphics.com for like all your overlay and streaming needs anyways so that's the screen in the back in the background you see the awesome little motion graphics i can change those you're going to see those change throughout the weeks and stuff uh i like the little 3d effect uh on the top left hand corner you got the chat where you guys can uh talk shit about us or tell us if you like the show hopefully uh and then on the bottom is basically uh let me see something here before i go to that one on the bottom is... I can't see that, so I might go grab Amber's phone just to double video this. Yeah, just turn the, uh, the volume off. Um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and grab it, man, so I can show them the rest of this. And then basically on the left-hand corner here is, like, whatever we're talking about, if uh, we want to show you guys what we're talking about, we can pull up stuff on, the, on Google here on the left-hand side, left-bottom side, see? So if we want to talk about comics and the X-Men, fucking Colossus being one of my favorite X-Men of all time, we can talk about shit like that. Or if you guys are like, hey, have you seen uh, the trailer for this or that? Or have you seen how bad Genie and Latin looks? Uh, <laughs> pull it up. And I'll just fucking type, I'll type the shit out right here. Like, uh, let's say, uh, let's say Aladdin, Genie, or Will Smith, right? Will Smith. Hold on, Ben, I'll be back. All right, go ahead, man. I'm, I'm just showing them. I'm giving them the, the, the tour. Let's just pull up an image. I don't want to get banned. But yeah, like you guys could be like, oh, have you seen the new genie from uh, the new Aladdin movie? And I could be like, oh, shit. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. But thanks for showing it to me, guys. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, yeah. So that's that's basically the tour. Um, right now, you notice that Drummer has his camera off. He's being a little bit pee-pee shy, to be honest. Um, <laughs> he said uh, eventually he'll... He'll turn his camera on. Uh, he's been on the stream before, as voice-wise, uh, but never, never like you've never seen his face or anything. Um, he is gonna come over one day and play some retro games with me, though. Um, but yeah, that's the grand tour. <clears throat> oh yeah, in the bottom right-hand corner, you have the official Estebam uh, logo. Where you My what? What's that? Drummer, did you say something? No, he's already talking to me. Talking to somebody. Anyways, if you guys ever want to come in, come in here and have a conversation with me, uh, hopefully it's you know people that watch my stream and and that are in my community or in my Discord. If you ever see me, um, you know, doing this podcast and you you type to me in the chat that you want to join or give your input uh, on whatever it may be that we're talking about. Um, yeah, just let me know and I'll send you the link and basically I'll just like pipe you in. I'll be like, all right, so like today it's just me and drummer, but if one of you are like, hey, I'll just open up one of these screens here and it'll open up an extra slot for you. Of course, I'll have to change the names around, but that's, I have that all like set where I can just at, at a press of a button. But uh, yeah, um, that's what that is. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. <coughs> All right, drummer. So are you back? Did you see everything? Yeah. So it's pretty yeah. cool looking, right? It's pretty dope. It's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty dope, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you you did a good job, but it's all right. you're not gonna be, you're not gonna give me props, huh? I see you there. Nah, 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 nah. I see you there, Dark Knight. But by again, guys in the chat, I'm not gonna respond too much on the podcast side of things. But uh, anyways, what were you saying, drummer? You can't give me props because what? I'll give you props, but not too much. I don't get the head to get bigger than it already is. That is one thing about Drummer, man. If you guys watch my streams, uh, you'll always see that he keeps me well grounded. He's never gonna let me get a big, uh, big <laughs> head. <laughs> I could be fucking the uh, top streamer in the world, and he is not gonna give a fuck. But uh, nah, hell no. Let's see. I'm gonna show you guys some of the topics. So I asked my viewers, um, what are some of the topics that I should talk about. If you guys feel like uh, typing in topics that we should talk about in the future, uh, go ahead and add them in the chat and, you know, I'll grab them, copy and paste them later and, and I'll I'll think about, you know, doing them. If they're good enough and if my crew is down to talk about them, or if you guys want to come on the show one day and talk about them, let me know. Maybe we can set something up. Uh, another reason that I'm doing this whole uh, uh, podcasting is because 
in the future, I plan on interviewing other YouTubers and content creators and streamers. I already have one, uh, no, I already have two YouTubers in line that want to uh, uh, come on here. I even have their names created and everything. Uh, I told them, let's see how much of a train wreck the first podcast is. And if it's not too bad, maybe, you know, you guys can come on. Uh, should I play music in the background when I do these? What do you guys think? Like a light, light music? Let me know in the chat. Should I play light, generic music in the background whenever I'm doing these? Or should it just be our voices? Anyways, hey, drummer, can you see the uh, screen right now or no? Yeah. All right. So these are ideas that people in my community or I think even drummer has uh, uh, suggested some of these. Uh, let's just talk about like the ones I have so far. So it says uh, BAMcast, topic ideas. Yo, Ryan L., welcome, man. Uh, I'm not going to focus too much on the chat right now because I want to keep the conversation between whoever's on the uh, on the actual podcast. But uh, if you guys want to come on the show one day, we'll set something up. Uh, and if, if you do want to type in the live chat to give your input, feel free. I, I may or may not read it immediately like I, I do on the stream. I know all you guys are used to me like immediately answering and, and goofing around with you guys on stream. Uh, but the podcast is going to be just a little bit different. Anyways... Bamcast topic ideas. So the first one says, uh, uh, video game, video games getting their own series on Netflix. This is one of the ones that I wanted to talk about because nowadays, uh, yeah. I think I think you talked about that too, drummer. Uh, Resident Evil is getting a fucking Netflix series, and they're gonna do it. They're not gonna do the Resident Evil movie. They're gonna make it actual horror. Uh, they're gonna try to make it follow the games. Uh, it's not gonna be like the movies where everybody's a fucking superhero, a la. Fucking uh, Fast and the Furious. Do you guys remember when Fast and the Furious was about racers and not fucking superheroes driving cars? Do you guys remember that? Um, the first two movies. Yeah, the first yeah. two, first three. I like the I like the third one, uh, but yeah, exactly. Uh, let me continue down the list. Tokyo we'll, Drift was badass. What was that? Yeah, Tokyo Drift was badass. That's what I'm saying. That's that one had one of the best, like had some of the best action scenes out of all of them. Uh, I think people just get salty because fucking Vin Diesel's not in it. And I'm like, nah, man, that's one of the best ones. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the other uh, series that's going to get a uh, Netflix uh, original series uh, is The Witcher. And one of my buddies, like, I love The Witcher. Uh, the entire world and the uh, lore and all that uh, is going to be dope, especially if they put the uh, budget into the effects. And you know who's going to play The Witcher? Uh, fucking Henry Cavill. So the guy who plays Superman is like fuck you know fuck this i'm done with you dc uh after that last movie i'm done i'm out i'm gonna go play the witcher <laughs> uh so apparently you know he loves the games but you know there's a couple of other series i'm not gonna go down through that right now we'll have a whole conversation about that later uh let's just go down the list uh oh this is the one i was telling you about drummer um it's uh the documentary called uh, abducted in plain sight um <laughs> I watched it. Did you finally finish it? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let me finish the list, and then maybe we'll jump on that. So this podcast is going to be about video games, uh, movies, movies, sometimes, like, uh, me and Drummer are both in, like, to metal bands and stuff, so we'll probably talk about that sometimes. Uh, and sometimes we might even hit, like, more serious topics, maybe even political. I don't know, though. Me and Drummer are definitely... Yeah, see? Drummer's like, I'm not going to do that. And a lot of people are like, stay away from it. So maybe we will. We'll keep it light here. Uh, yo, BJJ, what's up, man? Uh, anyways, go, going down the list. Uh, Disney live action adaptations. Uh, so like Aladdin, Dumbo, Lion King. Uh, I'm not really on board for that, but we'll we'll go down, you know, we'll go down that road when, it, when we get there. Um... What is the other one? The other idea was best game stories and the current state of video game development. All right. So one of my viewers actually told me to put that one on there. I think his name is Ratchet. It's so. pretty good. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good one. Uh, all right. Next. Number five is, oh, this is one that I wrote wrote down. This is one that I want to talk about that pisses me off. Um, kids no longer required to learn cursive and being able to uh, use their phone freely at school uh, and kids... Kids getting out at whatever time they want to from high school, uh, you know, having basically overall having way too much freedom. Because I know when I was in school, man, that shit, we were, it was fucking strict as fuck. All I know is kids are starting to get 
I'm like super stupid, or maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know, man. What are you talking about? When you were in high school, you could smoke cigarettes, dude. When when you were in high school? No, when you were in high school, couldn't y'all smoke cigarettes at the old high school? Hell no. I mean, you could go and hide, but you couldn't like. Like before your time, man. Oh my god. Yeah, drummer's uh, you know, a l tiny bit younger than me, but uh, not um, much, not much. Anyways, uh, what's the other one? Number six would be. People that care. Oh, this is one that I wrote down too. People that care more for animals than human life, <laughs> including children. Uh, I got some good stories I'm gonna tell you guys about that on one of these podcasts. I went out to L.A. and man, I ran into some. Yeah, we'll just save that one. <laughs> we ran into some issues because uh, you know I understand you can care about your animals and stuff, but there's also a limit, especially when it comes to human life. Harambe, anyone? Harambe. Oh, come on, man. That's, a, that's an amazing man. Person. All right, all right, all right. Animal. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but it wasn't so much that situation. It was like how much out of hand a person got, got with it, even in a work environment, like how enraged he got and how he wanted bad things to happen to uh, a, a kid. Like he wished that bad stuff happened to the kid. I don't wish that on that, but I thought it was pretty funny about the memes coming out. About the memes? Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. All right, uh, moving along. Oh, did you ever watch the uh, Ted Bundy tapes, man? That's another documentary that I want to eventually talk about on the podcast. No, but Amber did. She said they were pretty crazy. Dude, yeah, you got to watch that one. Anyways, uh, what's the next one? Uh, oh, yeah, what do you think about this one? This is one of the topics that somebody told me. Uh, tipping. Where do you draw the line and who should, who should, who we should and shouldn't tip? <laughs> uh, it seems like you got to tip just about everyone nowadays, just for doing a job, um, like everybody. Anyways, uh, and then the other one was, oh, these are just back to video game stuff again. What was the first video game you ever played? And then the last one is, what was the first online video game you ever played? Um, anyways, those were just suggestions that I got from the community about future stuff to talk about on the podcast and ideas. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, let me know. Cool. Ryan L is in the chat and he's like, I'm down to make an appearance one day. Awesome. Maybe we'll get we'll get you in here and ask you about how you became a professional photographer. How you went from uh your, you know, run of the mill job into that badass uh career. Uh let's see. Just remember, this tip is free, but the shaft will cost you. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> See, that's what I want from the chat. That's why I kept the chat on. Some people were telling me, don't do this live. And, you know, I, I'm still not settled on whether I will or won't. But one of the reasons I want to do this live is so you guys can somewhat be involved, even though I'm not going to, like, completely give you my 100% attention like I do on streams. Uh, that was awesome, man. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's that's what that is. I know we have, like, a 45-minute limit for these chats. Uh, for these uh, podcasts, uh, so you know this first one is just a test run and, and showing you showing it off to you guys. Uh, yo, Ratchet, what's up, man? I just read one of your ideas that you gave me for the uh, Bamcast. We're, we haven't talked about it yet. I'm just going down the list. Um, all right, man. So I guess since Ill Will is not here, we're gonna have to talk about it without him. Uh, so drummer, man. Uh, so uh, let's go into the. Uh, Old documentary we were talking about. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> What'd you think about that bad boy? The book to the plain sight, right? Yeah, yeah. So you want me to kind of like say what the story was about before you get started, or give, give them the rundown? Give them the rundown. I'll tell them. All right. All right. So the rundown. So if you guys go to Netflix, there's this uh, podcast called uh, "Abducted in Plain Sight," and I just thought it was going to be like one of those, you know, like a regular abduction tell. And it kind of is, it starts like the first, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. You're just like, okay, well, so basically this, this family, this religious type family uh, brought in, you know, they had like three girls and they were like nine, the ages of nine and down. And they, they move to a new town and they make friends with this uh, fellow, <laughs> this one guy, his name's, they, his nickname is B. Uh, we'll just call him that. Anyways, uh... He starts to get real close, and they all become real friendly, and, and he has a wife, too. He's married, and the family starts to have, you know, like, uh, go out together and spend, you know, time together. 
Well, this guy starts to like get infatuated with their nine year old daughter. So this guy is basically like a, a pedophile, right? And that's where the story starts to get weird. Um, but the, the, the most weird part is how dumb the parents are, like how uh, negligent or I don't know what you want to call it, Roger, or sorry, drummer. Retarded? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, so basically this guy starts like slowly and slowly and like moving in more on their nine-year-old daughter. Um, he, and to me, as soon as he starts taking pictures of my kid, uh, we, we're going to have a problem, right? uh like and it's not just like hey guys let's get a family photo or 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 just one innocent oh hey pictures here pictures there nah this dude was like basically treating her like she was like a supermodel like getting her to pose and fucking like uh basically using the entire film just to take images of their daughter and coming over just to fucking take pictures of their daughter right uh oh yeah there's gonna be major spoilers in this guys so if you don't want to hear it you know go watch it and then Say hey, before I say anything, spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, no, sp- <laughs> you you guys get it. If you want to pause it and then come back and watch this, the replay of this, feel free. Anyways, that's where I would have drawn the line. That would have been it. That that would have been done. Like I would whoop the guy's ass, and that would have been the end of it, right? But no, they continue to like let him do whatever he wants, and then they continue to like, oh hey, uh, I want to go uh spend time with your daughter. Um, how about you let me take her to the park? How about you let me take her here, or there, right? Uh. It starts to get really weird because this guy starts to kind of try to divide the parents. Like he tries to divide and conquer. And he basically starts to come on to the wife. And you're like, okay, well, maybe maybe he was after going after the wife the whole time. So he starts like, uh, like the dad's, I'm going to say it right now, the dad's a pussy. Like he is, he's just a pussy, you know? man. Like, right? And, and from the get go, I saw him too. And I was like, this guy looks kind of, well, we'll get back to that. Anyways, and I don't usually, like, pass judgment on anyone, but this guy, like, I can tell something was up with, with him. Anyways, so he starts coming on to the wife, and, like, you know, they go out for a little car drive. I guess he has to pick her up from somewhere, and he starts, like, feeling up on her. And, uh, anyways, they end up making out, but nothing happened other than that. Uh, they crossed the line, but it wasn't, it could have been way worse, right? And nothing ever happened for, like, years, or, like, a year or something. And then... <laughs> Uh, he still keeps trying to get closer and closer to the daughter. Like he starts looking for reasons to like go over and like spend time with the daughter. Like, Oh, Hey, uh, yeah, your daughter is, is getting uh big. She may need her own room. Uh, let me go over there and like help you build her a separate room. And the point of that is basically so he can get her alone, right? Spend time around her and separate her from the family and kind of get her to his own, maybe sneak into the window. Maybe. Right. Um, what happens after that? Oh, so he comp- he continues to divide and conquer, and then he starts to uh, tell the the girl's dad, "Hey, um, yeah, man, I'm 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 just really not feeling my wife anymore. I, I don't want nothing to do with her. Um, maybe you and I should go have a talk." And he takes this motherfucker to the park, <laughs> and this is where it starts to get really fucking weird. You remember- oh, yeah, you're about to get yeah you, yeah. Once once he- I bet you were bored up until you got to this part. You were like, "Whoa, right, Roger? I mean, right, drummer?" Dude, like, no, it freaked me out when I heard it. Because it was one of those, like, straight kicking the nuts, not expecting it. <laughs> yeah, so basically, he takes the the uh, guy named B, the pedophile, takes the father out to the park and starts telling him all his uh, marriage and sex life problems, uh, that he wants to leave his wife and this and that. And he's just like, ah, I just need relief. I just need I just need relief. Like, I can't, I, I can't stand my wife. She disgusts me. I can't be with her sexually anymore. Um... Yeah, um, maybe, maybe, uh, 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 maybe you can offer me relief. <laughs> and anyone, <laughs> like drum, drummer, what what would you have done if one of your guy friends pulled you aside and told you, "Hey, drummer, maybe you can offer me relief." What would you have done? Yeah, now I can offer you some relief and hit him right in the face, or hit him right in the wee wee. Yeah, right. <laughs> I would hit him in the face because he probably wants you to touch his wee wee as you. Delicately, you know, as you so delicately oh, he wants put you it. To touch it, but he wouldn't want you to touch it the way you're doing it. You're hitting his balls in his stomach. <laughs> uh, anyways, so the guy, the the father, what does he do? And he definitely do, does not man up. He was like, "Sure, buddy." The guy tells him, uh, "Hey, this is just uh, this is just kid stuff. Yeah, why don't you just uh, jack me off?" And sure enough, that's what the father, if you can call him that, I was like, pull that thing out. 
Yeah, he continues to go to town on him as far as like doing that to him. I'm kind of like, what the fuck? And he, are, he already suspects that this guy's after his daughter. That's why it's really weird. Like, all right, I'm not going to judge you. If that's what you're into, you know, fine. I'm not going to judge you. I don't care whatever you're into, right? But it's kind of like this guy's going after your daughter and you already fucking know it. So, hmm. Whatever you're into, as long as you're not into little kids. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever you're into, as long as you're not into little kids, right? So that happens and it just gets extremely weird. And it's funny because they asked the father, like the whole time that this is going on, they're going back and they're going like to the current time and asking you, you know, asking the parents and why, why did you do that? Or why, how did this go about? And the face that the father makes, they're like, so why did you uh, do that for him? And he just basically gives you the, uh, I don't know, face like the, uh, the hands out, like, hmm? <laughs> He's like, what do I do with my hands? Uh, like, what the fuck? Like, how do you not know it's wrong to jerk off another dude in the car that's in love with your daughter? Exactly. And then I'm kind of like, I mean, if you were into that, just go ahead and be into it. But it's just the whole daughter thing. That's really weird. But Yeah, uh, if you're gay, it's, it's understandable. That's cool. But And, and what gets me is he, call, he calls it, oh, and that's when I made the biggest mistake of my life. It, no, that wasn't the biggest mistake of his life because it gets way worse than that. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, you know, that ends. He does what he has to do. And now this guy's in. B's in. Now he has secrets on the wife and the husband, and he's kind of turning them against each other, too, trying to get the wife to leave and making the man just basically, like, do whatever he wants because if he doesn't do what he wants, he's going to tell everybody the secret. Jerked yeah. him off in the car. So eventually, this guy one day comes over and he's like, oh, hey, uh, I want to take your daughter out to the uh, park for a little while. Oh, okay. And apparently he had already done it a few times where he takes her and he gives her drugs. And then she, they talk to her in the future, like currently, current day. And she would say she had no recollection, recollection of what happened, but that she could tell somebody was missing with her down there. Uh, but uh, anyways, eventually, yay. Yeah, uh, let me take your daughter to the park. Takes her to the park and they're gone. For like the entire day, they never show up, uh, and the parents are like, uh, "Hey, uh, do you think we should call the cops?" <laughs> uh, what do you think about that, Roger or Drummer? Sorry. And they're like, and they, they're like, "No, no, let's not call the cops. Let's wait a couple of days. Let's trust the guy." Yeah, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe they got a flat tire. Okay, all right. So like a week goes by, and the, and the the pedophile, his name is B. His wife comes over to their house and is trying to convince them not to call the police. But eventually they finally do it after a week. The parents were like, oh, uh, I guess something may be wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? This is your daughter that we're talking about, you know? Yo, homie, here's the uh, podcast, man. Anyways, uh, so basically he, yeah, they call the cops to get them involved. And what happened, he, he fucking like, he, yeah, he kidnapped her and they flee to Mexico, right? And... Yeah, that's where it gets really weird because at that point he's doing whatever a pedophile does, man. Like, he, like it's in Mexico and they cannot find them. They can't do nothing to stop them. Uh, and yeah, it gets really weird. Do you remember the story that he told the little girl? Yeah, the, the whole uh, alien thing, right? Yeah. Do you want to expand on that or do you want me to tell it? <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, no, from what I heard, like, well, remember, I'll tell you that. After I told you, but yeah, apparently. He left his tape recorder in the room at a little girl. Oh asleep. yeah, yeah. He or kidnapped her. Tape recorder. It was an intercom. It was an intercom or something, it right? Was intercom. And he came on there talking about he was an alien and how they had to have kids before she reached, I think, fifteen or sixteen. Yeah, something like that. Something like and that. And if she didn't, and if she didn't, and she told anybody about it, that she would uh, go after her other sister, which was younger than her. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. If she couldn't get, bear a child with her uh what was it her uh her chosen one or whatever the fuck yeah uh, something like that they like basically she was the chosen one from a alien and he was from an alien race and she was what the alien race chose that's what it was yeah and they had to have a child to save the human race or something like that that's yeah they, yeah and yeah and if they didn't the earth, the earth would end or the world would end or something like that yeah and like you said if she couldn't give him a child then they were going to go after her little sister and do the same thing to her. So she, you know, she's she's nine or something like that, nine, ten or something like that. And of course, she's gonna believe it. She uh, believed it. It's, I, I don't blame her for all that at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
And of course, this is back in back in the day. Like kids had no, there was no internet, there was no media really. Like you had no, like reason not to believe them as a kid. You know, you're just. And you know what I heard a couple of days ago? What? That this isn't the first time he used that on somebody. Oh damn! The whole alien thing. Yeah, I heard heard he did it to several other children. Oh wait, no, I did hear that because while he was like, there's times where she came back home, right? While that was going on, he was like constantly doing it to other girls too, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So let's speed this up because we're at 30 minutes. uh, And I think we only have 45 minutes on this podcast. Uh, Anyways, so basically he does whatever he wants to do to her for months on end. And apparently, you know, they they finally contact the authorities and they're finally after months able to go fly out to Mexico and get her. And when the parents finally get there and get her after she's been thinking that, she has to have sex with this fucking like 39 year old guy. Um, she's like been completely brainwashed because the guy told her if he tells anybody that they're going to go do the same thing to her sister. And I think that they're going to kill her parents or something like that. Yeah, um, something, like that. something like that. Anyways, eventually the parents finally get the kid back and um, they're like, oh, the, the father, this is one of his biggest mistakes to me. The father is like, you know, they could tell that she's being standoffish to them and doesn't want to kind of like be around them or tell them anything. Uh, but he's like immediately like, this is no longer our daughter. And it's not kind of, and to me, it didn't seem like that kind of, oh no, we've lost our daughter. You know, what, what did this, it, it kind of, to me, felt like he abandoned her at that point. You know what yeah, I'm saying? To me, to me that, that, that is the number one version, the number one example of shitty parenting. Exactly, right? It's kind of like, I mean, I've heard of this when they do this in different in, in, in third world countries too, like where a man will come and steal your daughter at a young age, and if he's taken your virginity at that point, you you belong to him now, and you know. And these are this is in third world countries that I know of personally, and it's fucked up. It's part of the culture, but it's kind of like if he steals your virginity, you belong to him now, and he can do whatever he wants. Uh, but the problem is that that was here in America, you know. These were Americans. What's crazy about the story is like I don't know if you remember this, but the FBI they were they were gonna talk to the FBI they were gonna press charges on him, but oh, then they decided not to. That's what it was. Yeah, expand on that because they were scared he because he was gonna tell everybody their story about how he messed with her and how she jerked him off or he jerked him off. That's and all the dirty secrets. And so they they went back to the FBI and said, you know what? We're not going to press charges on him. We'll just act like nothing ever happened. Exactly. That was the number one mistake. So when the guy says, oh, I made my, the worst mistake of my life in that car when I did that to him, that wasn't the worst mistake of his life. What Drummer just said, that was his worst mistake. And the mom, too. Because they didn't want to air out their dirty laundry about what they both had done with this guy, uh, they just basically sold their daughter's uh, dignity and let the guy get, you know, they sold her dignity away and let the guy get away. They had him. The FBI had everything they needed to convict this guy and probably lock him up for life or whatever. And the parents let him let him go. Uh, and that, like, really pissed me off, man. I ended up watching it in two nights. Like, I fell asleep, and I was dreaming about that. That shit was haunting me. <laughs> was like, what pissed me off is that that's the first time she ran away. She ran away again after that. Yeah, yeah. So that's where you think, well, you know, you would think, the story ends like I thought the story was gonna end. Oh, they came to rescue their daughter and they're gonna lock him up. But like you know, they didn't because they let him get away. And I was like, well, maybe that's where the story ends. It doesn't have a have a happy ending. Maybe but they finally learned. Maybe they finally learned exactly. That's what I was like. Well, they definitely learned their lesson. Uh, the parents, you know, they definitely learned their lesson after that. Nope, that was not the case, and that was not the fucking end of it. That's only like thirty minutes into the <laughs> hour and a half yeah, or two hour documentary. Hour and a half long documentary. Wow. Uh, we are at 34 minutes. Let's just continue. If the if the stream goes out, the stream goes out, and we'll just do a part two or something. Mm. But, but like, that's the one thing that I can't understand is like, how is a parent? You're all right with your nine year old daughter hanging out with a 39 year old man. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, oh, and then on top of that, you remember that they lived and sleep with her in the bed for two months. Oh, I forgot about. I forgot about that. Yeah. So one of the first excuses before he even ran away with her to Mexico was that uh, I think he was going through, was it, was he getting over alcoholism or what was he getting over? Something that happened with his parents? 
something. He needs some excuse. Yeah, I don't know. It was some excuse where basically. Good excuse. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, uh, my psychiatrist says that I need to spend time with a, a kid, and I, I need to reconcile some things. Can I go sleep in, in the bed with your daughter in her room?" Thirty-nine-year-old man and in a nine-year-old woman or er, girl's bed, <laughs> and the parents yeah, are like, and top, "Sure." And the wife, and the wife fell in love with him. Yeah. So let's get to that. So after all that happens, they get her back. The little girl is. Is completely brainwashed. She's like, I need to save the human race. And she doesn't tell anybody this. She keeps it inside because if she tells anybody, the guy said that they were going to kill her parents. Uh, so she keeps trying to find any excuse to run away with the guy. Uh, slowly but surely, the parents start to break and they start letting her have like conversations with this pedophile. Remember that? They start let, letting her talk on the phone with him. Yeah. yeah and then they... they... Like, you know what it... Yeah. Let's, let's, just, let's just make these things better. If, we, if she won't talk to us, let's let her have him. Yeah, uh, and then what were you saying? Uh, he oh, the mom, the mom was in love with him. Yeah, so basically the mom, if you remember, they made out that one time. I guess she never she, forgot about it. Like, if it happened, it happened. She was in love with him. Yeah, exactly. If ha if it happened, it happened, uh, and it could have ended there. But once she, her daughter got kidnapped, that should have been it. She should have had a hatred for this guy like none other. Like, there should have been no excuse for her to fall in love with this guy. Anyway, the guy would try to... The guy would try to like convince her to come over and hey, let's just talk about this. Uh, I'll explain everything to you. And he was just trying to lure her over to his place. And sure enough, it fucking worked. He lowered her over to the place and fucking like fucked her for like like, like another what did they say like another eleven more enc encounters or something. Yeah, they had uh, sex like eleven times. Like eleven times after that, after her daughter, she knew her daughter had been sexually molested by this guy and. She still went and fell in love with this guy, and the whole time the guy is trying to get her to leave her husband, uh, which she never wanted to do. That do you do you do you remember that? She never wanted to leave her oh, husband. She didn't want to leave it, but She's, the husband was like, "All right." He found out about it, and he was cool with it. That's that's what made it so weird. Like that's why I say this guy's a fucking pussy, man. Like, okay, you did what you did. You let him take your fucking daughter. He, if you notice, he never once said, "I'm gonna kill this motherfucker." That would have been the first thought in my mind. Did you hear that? Like the one thing he like, was always like, like well, you know. <laughs> I can understand you don't want to kill the man for having sex with your wife. Yeah. But you touched my daughter. Oh, that's it. All bets are off. You're dead. That, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's what I, that's what I was talking about. Like, if it's, it's your wife, yeah, okay, that's one thing. And, I mean, I'd probably be that way anyways. But <laughs> if it's your nine-year-old daughter, that's it. That's that's the end of them. There's, no, there's not even any talk. It's just like, end this motherfucker. Just like, just like, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember the story. It was, it was a lot, like back in the eighties or nineties, about this. Uh, this uh, who was he? He was like a karate instructor, or whatever. Stole this family's kid. And oh he, yeah, he I, I love that story. I love that story. Tell tell me about that real quick. Sneak that in here. He, he raped him, and then they found him, and they brought him back. And when they were bringing him back to the airport, his father stood there by the phone, acting like he was on the phone. And I'm going to bring him to the airport. He turned around and shot that man in the head. Hell yeah, on camera, on in front of the news and everybody. And I was totally on board with that. I was like, fuck this motherfucker. You did that to and my the son. Judge, the judge, the judge, let him go. Yeah, this, the judge was like, let's give him uh, six months, uh, but let's give him off for good behavior and uh, let him go. They gave him like five years, but the suspended the sentence. That's what it was. It was something like that. But, you know, it was, you know, exactly. The, that judge was a badass judge, man. Like, hell yeah. Yes. Because, like, he understood because they were like, what would you do if that was your kid? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh shit, that's what I would have said too. And the whole thing is, he took him to that karate instructor to help him defend himself. And then you're gonna do that, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's fucked up. Anyways, back to uh, abducted in plain sight. So the mom falls in love. She's fucking around with the fucking pedophile as well. And the dad is just fucking cool about it. One of my buddies that was supposed to be on here, named Ill Will, thinks that the whole thing is kind of like a cover up. Like he thinks that. All three of them were like in a whole love triangle or just in love together, but that, and that they didn't care what happened to the daughter. They just, it was just a I weird fucking that. relationship. He was like, he posted something immediately, like, you know, like a meme saying, you know, why are you always lying? <laughs> it was like some, some <laughs> lyric from some, some song, you always lying. Anyways, that's what he posted. And I was like, what is he talking about? Then I watched it and I was like, oh shit, maybe that is a possibility. Maybe they were all. You know, in love together. I don't know. That, that actually that actually sounds like it's from old water. 
Yeah. After I watched it, yeah, that's true. At least I think that's what he, what Ill Will was going to say. I never spoke to him directly about it because I wanted him to talk about it on the podcast, but he wasn't able to make it tonight. Um, What else happened? Um, So basically, that happens for a while, and apparently... Eventually, the wife has had her fill, literally her fucking fill, and is like, no, you know, <laughs> you know what? I I'm gonna go back to my. Uh, I'm never gonna leave my husband. I'm gonna go back to my, you know, go back to him. And well, I think immediately, like after that, the guy ends up kidnapping the, the girl again, <laughs> which may not even be a kidnapping at this point. They might have just been like, here, take her. Oh, no, they let, they let her go. They let her go because they were like. Uh, so the daughter was getting more and more belligerent, and she was like, "This guy, the pedophile, had eventually uh, opened up a business for more kids to like. It's like one of those things where you go and ride go karts and like play around in the pools and stuff. And there's like an arcade, like one of those, right? And he, the pedophile, opened up one of those somehow. I guess he got a loan and was trying to get the girl to come over and work over there or spend time with him during the summer. And the Parents were just like, okay, cool. My daughter's talking back to me. Uh, sure, you can go with this pedophile guy. <laughs> what? What the fuck? It was like mind blowing. You remember? You remember they used to sit there and wait, and then we would call them, and they called them. I remember they played. They played the call on the on. They played one of the calls on the video. Mm-hmm. And you heard it. She's like, "Are you coming home?" I don't know. I like it here, and they were just so calm about it. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, exactly. See, see how drummer's starting to get pissed off. That's how I was <laughs> slowly getting because they have voice recordings of all these phone calls of when the guy would take her and she would allow her to call her parents back, and they were just so calm about it. like if she was just spending time with like aunt, aunt and uncle somewhere. Yeah, like an uncle when nothing was going on. It was just a family trip. Yeah, uh, sometimes you would see the mom kind of crack, and he she really wanted her daughter back. Uh, but sometimes I'm kind of like, is that an act? Because she knows the FBI is watching her. Like, they're the ones bringing the uh, voice recording equipment. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, but this whole time... like, Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Th- that whole documentary just pissed me off. Yeah. It was like, how could you be so stupid? <laughs> exactly. That was the, the main thing. How could you be so fucking dumb? And, I mean, that's, that's your kid. Like, it doesn't matter... If you lose everything else in the world, but to just give that away like that, that's like, what pissed me off. As a parent, everyone knows this. Once you have a kid, you protect that kid no matter how old they are or no matter what they do. That is your kid. That is your responsibility no matter what. Yeah, exactly. And you you, you may have thought that you knew love before that. Like, I don't care the love of your life, uh, your family members. Until you got a kid, you will not know, like, you know, endless, like true, true love, like to where you'll like give your life for something um, until you have your own kid. Not truly, I yes. think. I think anyways. Uh, yeah, because there's different kinds of love. You can love your parents. You can love your wife. You can love everybody. But you can love your dog. You can love your, yeah. you know, your job. You can love but... somebody as much as you love your kid. Yeah. Uh-oh. Drummer's cutting off a little bit. No, my bad. Oh, uh, but yeah. So basically, he ends up kidnapping her again, right? Or no, that she eventually comes back, and then he does kidnap her again. Cause I think she he got kidnapped like three times or something like that, right? Something crazy. To be honest with you, I I don't even remember the ending. I was so pissed off. Mm-hmm. I don't remember how it ended. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if we'll spoil the ending. Um, you guys watch it. Uh, and you tell let me know if it was a happy or sad ending. Uh, I'm not gonna give my opinion on that. Maybe we won't spoil everything. Uh, but yeah, man. Basically, the whole documentary just fucking pissed me off. Like, I didn't know people were that dumb. I remember when you told me to watch this and you'd be like, just let me know what you think. I was like, all right. I was just going to watch this documentary. I didn't think nothing of it. And then you made me watch it and I was like, God damn, you messed up on off. <laughs> yeah, man. I dreamed about it. Like I was like tossing and turning a bit because it was just like haunting me, man. Like it's crazy. Like, it's fucked up. like my my stepdaughter's a girl, mm-hmm. and I'm like, like she's not my blood, but goddamn, if something happened to her like that, oh, damn sure I'd kill somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we want to go into any more detail about it. It's been uh, it's about to be 45 minutes. Um, so I think we may end 
end it there. I will I will say go watch it if you haven't watched it, although we spoiled all the a lot of the good parts for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no uh, good parts of that story at all. If you guys have any um any opinions about it, you know, type it in the chat or if you watch this video, if you're watching like the replay in the future, feel free to leave some comments. If you guys have any suggestions for any other good documentaries for us to watch, uh let us know and if you want to come on and talk about it if you're like in my discord or in my little community uh let me know and we'll talk about it maybe i'll but let yeah, you guys yeah, come but, on but, but i was just reading what bjj said yeah it's not kidnapping at all after so after so many times i'm sorry but it's not kidnapping yeah that's a good comment uh, bjj i had that exact thought after the third one i was like that's that's not that's not kidnapping that's why my buddy I mean, after the first one after the first one whenever they drop charges no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, if you guys, uh, the only the other documentary that I watched was uh, the Ted Bundy tapes. But we'll save that for a, a different a different time. That one was crazy too, though. <laughs> uh, yes. Like uh, Amber did not know how crazy he was. I'm like, yeah, that dude was crazy. I never truly knew how crazy he was either. Like I I knew stuff about him, but I knew more stuff about like Jeffrey Dahmer. Or like John Wayne Gracie, or like uh, you know, people like that. But I thought, like when I would hear the name Ted Bundy, I thought he was the type of serial killer that was like always ultra vicious. Like even when you would see him on the streets, you would know. It was crazy how uh, you would never suspect this motherfucker, and he was fucking well, careless. Most, most he, was, he was so he, well, but usually from what I've seen, most serial killers they have uh, they're timid, you know. Is the ones you would never mm -hmm. expect but this guy was like fucking charismatic like if you saw him and you were like working with him or something you'd probably like you, you know you'd, you'd like the guy you'd like oh cool you want to you know you want to grab a beer hang out with my buddies or something you know and but this guy <laughs> he's creepy we'll talk about that one on a different day but anyways that's pretty much what no, no, bad. no go ahead go ahead th th this first podcast was a little depression guys <laughs> was a little bit what Depressing. Depressing. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do. So here's my plan for the podcast, and I don't know what I should do, guys. Uh, <laughs> shut up, drummer. Uh, I don't know if it's because you guys are so fucking uh, used to my uh, happy-go-lucky side, where all I'm doing is fucking uh, cracking jokes a hundred miles a minute, <laughs> right? And we're just calling each other dumbasses for for fucking two hours at a time, two hour blocks, <laughs> right? See tomorrow, big dumb. But uh. Uh, yeah, uh, no, but, but this this is a good podcast to explain what somebody wanted to talk about, so it's not bad. Yeah, exactly. Some will be upbeat, some will be not so upbeat, and some of them will be somewhere in the middle. Like, uh, I I plan on talk talking about at least two topics, uh, unless I'm interviewing somebody like some of the uh, YouTubers that I want to talk to. Then that's going to be a totally different. That might be more like an interview style. Um, but you know, usually maybe we'll talk about movie stuff and then maybe something a little bit more serious or maybe we'll we won't do the serious stuff at all maybe we'll just like you know leave that for the fucking uh you know <laughs> add, talk about that at a different place and not here uh oh, yeah. oh bjj says this was great thanks man yeah i was kind of scared to talk about it because as soon as you hear <laughs> the word fucking pedophile you yes. might be turned off you know even when i first said it like exactly and when i said it the first time i said it I, if you guys rewind, I kind of paused. I was like, oh, shit. I forgot I was going to have to say this word to describe uh, the documentary that we did, we just watched. No, we're not talking about Michael Jackson. But that's the other one I want to talk about. I haven't seen it yet. I've heard so much about it, but I want to see it with my own eyes. Uh, the, uh, what is it called? Yeah. Leaving Leaving Neverland? I want to talk about that one, man. Uh, I, don't know how, I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. Amber watched it. She loved Michael Jackson, but after she watched that, it kind of changed her views on it. And that's what's kind of happening to me. Like I'm in the middle, man. Like I'm kind of like, one second I'll be like, oh yeah, he did it, and and then most second, and then other times I'll be like, ah oh, man, I grew up with this guy. Like this was my childhood, you know. Uh, because before, like even before I got into like metal and stuff, and even if you are a metalhead, it doesn't matter like what genre of music you're into. Everyone fucking loved Michael Jackson <laughs> at some point yeah, or another, I love right? Exactly, right? So maybe we'll talk about that one in the future. But all right, drummer man. I do appreciate you being on here with me, man. I don't want to do this by myself. Hey, I, I, I thank you for allowing me to be on. Yeah, man. 
uh, this was definitely like I had thought about doing the podcast in a while, but Drummer was the first person that like pushed me. Like, hey man, you ever thought about doing one? He was like, come on man, we gotta do one. We could, you know, we could do some funny shit on there, which we are gonna do funny shit. <laughs> Stick around. Oh, yeah. This one was you know depressing. What? Crazy, what? Is I remember we talking about this one like, man, can we really talk for that long about it? And look at us, we could have kept going on for hours about this shit. Yeah, man. Exactly. Damn, it's already fifty minutes. I thought I could only do. Is, hey, is the podcast still long, guys? Or are we just fucking talking to yeah, ourselves here? The podcast is still long. Okay. I thought I thought we had a limit of 45 minutes, but I guess not. Awesome. Um, All right. The thing about it is, all right, the one thing I want to do when I ask is if we ever do the Disney thing, I got to bring Amber in on this because she's a Disney fan. Oh, Amber? Even on the live action stuff? Yeah, dude, she loves anything Disney. All right. Sounds good. All right. So if you bring Amber on, uh, only thing is because your, your mic to me sounds a little bit uh not muffled but like you you uh it has like a tiny little bit of screeching on it just make sure you guys talk one at a time that way it doesn't like yeah yeah but uh for the most part your mic's been good man your mic's been good i'm surprised it's, it's not even that close to my face the only uh the only way for us to get even better quality out of your mic is to uh get you an actual even a cheap pc mic and you hook that up to your mac that you have that i know you have and you just you can just sit there just like you're sitting at your phone talk on that thing it'll could, be it'll be clear i could do that i'm gonna look at that tomorrow because i'm gonna go shopping so oh okay i mean you can get you i can tell you a good one to get if you want because they sell them at they actually even sell them at walmart now the good ones man and they're cheaper because they're getting uh fucking walmart's getting all bougie man you seen that dude i saw that shit basically <laughs> i walked in there, i was kind of pissed off <laughs> i was like fucking walmart is fucking like iphone now it's like uh apple products i mean <laughs> the only good thing about them is they actually finally brought a shitload of uh, self checkouts. See, and I'm kind of on the fucking fence about that, man. I'm kind of like, okay, it's cool, and they even look, even those look more bougie now, man. They like, they like worked out all the kinks. Um, but I'm kind of like, damn, isn't this costing people jobs? Like, <laughs> people that people that couldn't get a job anywhere else, aren't they like losing their jobs at Walmart now because more than like, let's say half of the fucking registers are fucking, you know, self checkout now. To be honest with you, have you been to Walmart lately? How many registers do they really use? And, yeah, as I was saying it, that's what I was, at least at this Walmart, man, from my recollection, man, they never run more than three registers, but they have, like, 30 of them hoes. Right? At the very most, at the very most, I've seen a rush hour, maybe five. And look, you did it again with the cup. What about, like, back, even on Black Friday, they don't open them all, all up, huh? And I saw you do that with the cup, by the way. <laughs> Fucking busted. Damn. <laughs> you heard it all hollow like this. Fucking yeah. hollow. So my fucking running, my the running theme on this show is that I'll bring in the drink and then I always get to the point where I have nothing left. But instead of just like looking at it and putting it down, I continue to drink. So I don't look like an idiot on camera. <laughs> like drinking <laughs> nothing. You steal your kid's cup. Go. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, all right, man. Damn, we ran fifty-three minutes. Not bad, man, for the first podcast. No I gaming. Believe this podcast is gonna be so much better. We'll get more people involved talking. Yeah, and maybe more upbeat topics will help. Yes. Uh, like I say. Yes. Like I say, this was just a test. Uh, I mean, it's the official episode one. It's in the fucking history books now, right, boys? But the thing about it is, we had to talk about this and get it out there because yeah. this is something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, that's true. Definitely, definitely, man. And it's, and it's a change for my channel because I'm telling you, and, and I like my channel. I love my channel. All I I get to just have fun on my channel. My entire channel is dedicated to just having fucking fun, right? And not being like a like most gamers that I see nowadays are fucking dicks. Um, and even if I am being a dick, if I am being a dick, uh, it's all in good fun and kind of like I'm trying to treat you guys as like one of the boys or whatever. Uh. Especially, like, that's one one of the reasons I wanted Drummer on here, because he's fucking funny, and he has the same type of comedy as me. Like, we talk shit. We bust each other's balls, like, all day long. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, the one thing, I, one thing I like about these new streamers now is just, like, I'm all trying to be flashy. Yeah, like, I want to be somewhere in the middle. Like, I don't want to be fucking fake, where I gotta fake my personality. Like, where you know I'm being fake. Pretty much the way I am on this podcast, for the most part, is the way I am in real life. Um, I don't want to be overly flashy. <laughs> What was that? I can vouch for that. Yeah. I'm a fucking moron in real life. And basically, I just like to be, like, have fun. I don't like to be too serious if I don't have to be. Like, I can be, but I don't like to be. 
Um, but like the one, one, the one thing I like about these new age gaming sharing thing and all that, the mm-hmm. streamers the thing is, most of them are never about video games anymore. They're all about likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, there's, there's what I see is there's a uh, there's a sweet spot you want to hit. So either you're so much about the gaming that you have zero personality. Like, what is the point of even streaming at that point? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't interact with the chat. Uh, so what I see a lot of times, I want to say 80% of streamers are just like this. They're just like holding the controller, just like. And then they're like, they see the chat and they just like look at it and say absolutely nothing other than maybe like, yo, what's up? Oh, yeah, getting dubs. Oh, yeah, getting dubs. Get the fuck out of here. Like, that's all it fucking is. Oh, hey, y'all, you heard the new uh, Akon? That shit's pretty bad. and Badass. And then they fucking... Play a, play a game for another fucking two hours without saying nothing. Like, nothing at all. Regardless if they're good at the game or not. Like, I, I'll just watch a fucking Let's Play or a tutorial on how to play the game good. Like, I'm not going to fucking sit there and watch you day in, day out for fucking two to eight hours, you know. Um, and then you got the other side of it where it's just, like you said, all about Flash. Either you're a girl... Well, let's not go into that. You, <laughs> uh, it's all about Flash where it's like there's no gaming involved. Like, they're, sometimes they're not even paying attention, attention to the game, or they're just like, like whatever about the game. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like, oh yeah, give me money, give me money. Hey, advertise this. I mean, I'll, every now and then I'll be like, hey guys, I'm selling some shirts or I'm selling some stickers, but it's fucking rare. You guys can probably count on one hand how many times I've done that. Um, and a lot of times you see the old uh, no drink with uh, nothing in, it, like the monster cans or something else. Yeah, like just product, product placement. placement. Yeah, product placement is what you're saying. Um, I don't know. Oh shit! Let me let me read some of this chat since we're they're actually talking about what we're talking about. So the bet on my podcast since I'm not since I'm not going to uh, dedicate as much time to the chat. If you do want to get your uh, two cents in, uh, definitely stay on topic about what we're talking about. So uh, somebody said something about Hann- Hannibal Lecter being based off of him. All right, that's a little bit farther up. Oh, BJJ said this, this stream was great. Uh, you know, Ryan L said you like it in the book. <laughs> don't forget <laughs> to, to don't forget to tell people to give uh, a thumbs up. All right, yeah, guys, give a thumbs up if you like the stream. And then Ryan L says you don't have to be fake. We all know you like it in the book. That's what you were talking about. I thought you said Amber said that. <laughs> I was like, how dare you, Amber? But since Ryan L said it, then fuck him. <laughs> What's up, oh, Ryan? Yeah, That's my buddy. Uh, he might be on the show soon too. Um, that's it. Oh, and then oh, yo, welcome. Uh, these big old nuts <laughs> for you. <laughs> awesome name. I'm loving your name already. Welcome to the to the uh, All right. Bamcast. Yeah. The Bamcast. All right. Um, he says I know exactly what you mean. All right. So I think he was talking about whether he was talking about how some streamers are just like so into the game that they do not even fucking talk to their chat or try to build a community or a rapport with them or try to get them to feel like they're part of, you know, this little interaction. At that point, don't even fucking stream. Just fucking turn the game on and play. Uh, and then, he was, yeah, see? And then the other thing he was probably talking about was the uh, other side trying to be overly flashy to the, to the point where you know they're being fucking fake. And it gets it just gets fucking annoying and, ti- you know, tiring. It just gets, I don't know. I couldn't watch that. But, and the one thing I'll give you is how many streamers do you know that actually gives you a chance to get on the stream and talk? Like, I don't know, but that that's definitely my plan, guys. Uh, if you guys have noticed, I try to play with viewers whenever I can, especially recently. I've been playing a lot of Tekken with people, uh, Brawlhalla. Uh, I try to bring my friends on on here whenever they, whenever I can. And recently, I discovered this new program called Parsec, and I love retro games. Uh, I love... Just regular AAA titles too, but there's a lot of games that don't have online play. Uh, the only way you can play them is couch co-op mode. Uh, but with this Parsec, I plan on inviting a lot of my viewers to uh, come play games with me. You know, like uh, set some time aside where instead of playing with my friends, I can play with some of the viewers because even if they don't play on PC, they can play with me off of my PC. It's basically like you're like you're sitting next to me, playing on a player two controller. Uh, but you're playing off of my computer. So basically, I'm streaming my game to you, and you guys can basically c- control the second player, and we can play together like that, even if you don't play on PC. Ryan L. says, uh, we can do a show talking about the times in in the Shreve. So he's talking about 
So me, Ryan L, and a bunch of the people that you watch, see me play with, uh, we're all visual effects artists, uh, or we were at one time, either now or back then. Um, that's how we met. That that's how that's mainly who I game with was with all these people that I used to work on like big budget movies and films with. Um, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. And that's that's where I met. That's actually where I met Ryan L. But uh, we lived out there for like I lived out there for like a total of like three years on and off or something like that and then ryan came on came on a little bit later and he was a pretty cool guy man mm. all right so these big old nuts for you <laughs> i'm gonna say his name every time a community should be built off of communication not unbuttoning your shirt or belittling everyone in their match yeah see exactly that's that's the perfect way to put it somebody put that shit in the fucking fortune cookie <laughs> Next time I see a fortune cookie, especially, I better especially see Especially on buttoning your shirt part. But yeah, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about some of the girl streamers that are basically just flashing their uh, lady parts. Hoo-hahs. Yeah, hoo ha That's what I was going to say. <laughs> lady parts and getting, you know, getting tons of views and money off of it, which, I mean, fuck. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know why people do that, to be honest. Like, don't you know there's webcam girls? It's way better. <laughs> nah, I'm but... I'm surprised you get people to watch over that face you got going on right now. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I've been trying to end this for a while. Um, <laughs> but old uh, drummer doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're right. Nah, nah. It was awesome. It's it's. You can always tell that we're having fun when uh, we don't know when to shut the fuck up. But thanks, guys. Uh, I stream every Tuesdays and Thursdays for the most part. I'm trying to do even more now. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. So I stream every Tuesdays and Thursdays, I, the actual video games and stuff, you know, the old games. Um, and I try to do some weekends. I haven't worked a schedule in for the podcast yet. I'll see if I can do one. Hopefully Drummer can be on here with me a lot more. Because he's actually my first friend that i have outside of visual effects and animation he's like the only person that's been on my stream that well no actually actually uh token has been on here one time uh he's been on here one time don't forget about word word hasn't been on here man can you believe that oh. he's probably the person that i've hung around with the most in real life <laughs> and has had the least interaction with me on here <laughs> he's too good <laughs> he's too good he's too good i get it word i get it word somebody tell him to fast forward to uh an hour and two minutes into the vid where I talk about him to his face behind his back. Was it on here for an hour? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, man. It goes quick, right? I feel like it. Uh, but, all right. Let me just read this last comment and I'm going to head out. Uh, I couldn't run a game channel because I would be that asshole uh, shitting on everyone while I whip their ass on Gears of War, Battlefield, and COD. Look at this guy. I'm not, not going to lie, though. Ryan L. was pretty good on, on those games. I don't know, though. Drummer is pretty badass from what I hear on Battlefield. You guys might have to do, duke, duke it out. He's you might. A, you got. Xbox. What was that? I don't know. I'm not good at Gears of War. Mm. You guys are going to have to uh, whip it out and see see who's is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this the Esteban channel? Yeah. Oh, shit. She got it right this time. Welcome back, Snowways. Uh, but anyways, let's, uh, let's head out, man. Thanks a lot, drummer. Stay on the line. And I'm gonna talk to you before we head out, but I'm gonna play us play us out for now. Later, guys. Thanks for coming by. You guys are all fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. If play us play us out. Later. And I go to New Orleans Way back up in the woods among the evergreens This little log cabin made of earth and wood We lived a country boy named Johnny B. Good Who never ever learned to read or write so well But he could play a guitar just like a ring in the bell Go, go Go, Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go Go, Johnny, go, go he used to carry his guitar in a gunny sack Or ship beneath the tree by the railroad track Oh, the engine
Optimism is what see him sitting in the shade Drumming with the rhythm